gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, 
Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. And we are back. We are here. And we are live for the week two of the e ECAC. That is the Eastern Collegiate Athletic Conference. And this is the regular season. This is the league. And we're in week number two. FBI Top out here. I join my man, Curtis. Curtis, how are we doing today? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Getting excited to uh, be a part of this uh, for ECAC and uh, all of the colleges and players. They're in uh, week two after a very competitive week one in Swiss. Should be a lot more fun to come in the weeks to come as we start to separate the uh, contenders from the pretenders. Absolutely. The contenders from the pretenders. I like that. Both of these squads coming in at one and zero. I can guarantee that neither of these squads will leave with that lossless record coming in. There will be a winner and there will be a loser here today. This is SUNY Plattsburgh out of New York facing up against Western Virginia University Potomac College here, obviously, out of West Virginia. I was talking about these players a little bit. We got Bruce Juno, Ryan Northup, and Zebulon coming in from the SUNY Plattsburgh squad. Would you care to run through the Western University squad for me? Uh, yes, I can do that. We have uh, Rots, Azuro, and Jaywiz are going to be your players for the uh, for the W uh, Western Virginia PSC squad. So, a couple of a uh, couple of big teams that I have not seen, um, want to see more of, and uh, I'm excited to see what these guys can do in this potential. They're one to know. They had wins in their first week, which is obviously a good start. Um, now we get to see them go up against each other figure out kind of who rises to the top of the of the occasion absolutely it's more of a you know the, like, who performs on the day that kind of situation here we'll be yep. looking at a standard best of five for this regular season and like you mentioned this is the swiss format so each of these colleges will be playing against everybody else in their respective division here for the regular season of the ecac that is the eastern Colette. Eastern Collegiate Athletic Conference. We're just going to call it ECAC from here. I think that's a lot easier, Curtis. That works. That works. I think we are ready to go, though. Teams are going to get onto the pitch, and we'll get game one underway. It is WVU PSC. That's West Virginia PSC and SUNY Plattsburgh. We're ready to go. Hopefully you guys are as well. It's a best of five as this is these guys get going with game number one. Tugboat should be a good one. There you go, Rots, Jay Leroy, and Azuro making up the Western Virginia University squad here on the left in the blue. An early demo. Assassin actually get assassinated here from Azuro on early, making the numbers a little bit more attractive for them earlier on. Zebulon comes in, Rots completely whiffs this, and now that's gonna actually gonna be the other Western Virginia University player coming in way too fast. This one a little bit too hot and heavy for that first. Zebulon gonna take this up the side, up the ceiling, towards the ceiling as well. West Virginia trying to work this into the offensive end, but a good opportunity for SUNY P. They've had actually majority of the possession so far. Oh, there's a chance though, right in front. Jay Leroy puts this one in and West Virginia has a one nothing lead. It's Boyd Assassin, Zeb, and B making up the squad of SUNY Plattsburgh. And unfortunately taking a loss early, or taking a, a, a deficit early. Still plenty of time left in this one. Anybody's, uh, anybody's game still might win. He's getting on the offense and drops the rest of Western Virginia. That's going to be an easy one in for the number two, about 45 seconds in. Curtis, this is what we're going to see plenty of. It one certainly side of fair. seems like it, at least early on. It looks like uh, West Virginia PSC is all over the kickoffs. They're all over the forecheck in the offensive end. They're drawing defenders out. We're talking about uh, Plattsburgh. We're going to see if they can continue that. Otherwise, uh, Plattsburgh has a chance to maybe knock themselves back into this game. That's going to be a third. Might be a little bit wonky, but still going to come in from Azuro. Now, I think that, yeah, this one put up right here. Not a whole lot in the back. And Roy just realizes he had to get up and away from that one. Just let it continue and finish this trajectory. 3-0 lead now from the Western Virginia squad. This might be a little bit of a runaway for us. Yeah, at least early. I mean, there's still plenty of Rocket League left in a best of five. So he, uh, is, SUNY has plenty of chances to get back into this. Rots will take it up the sidewall. There's a chance up off the ceiling. Going to work towards the back. Tries to get a nose on it. Works on the pass in front. Past Izu. Chance for a zero, but he can't put that one home. And back to the midfield line goes the ball as they transition possession back into the PSCN. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, some solid attempts here from 
Sunni, but just like that, now they have the options against them as well. Zero, dumping everything into that. No, nothing in the boost left there. Of course, Rose get around and try and get something else going. Other members for right now, keeping up the pressure against Sunni. Just from flick to the right, everybody has purchased a little bit of time to rotate and get where they need to be. Okay, Roy, back and forth. Bean and Zebulon both getting a hand on this one and abandoning the defense and Ross is going to make him pay for it. Yeah, Ross ended up behind the D on all of those occasions. A bit of a triple commit there. Two of them go after the ball. One goes towards the sidewall, anticipating the move up. And Ross is left alone with an empty net to put it right in. And that's a bit, like you mentioned earlier, West Virginia run away early on with game number one two minutes in. Yeah, definitely 4-0 uh, is starting to get to that stomp ter territory. Game one's always used just for uh, filling out the other squad, but as it is, I'm not sure how that's going to work for the rest of this game. We're not even quite at halftime yet either, Curtis, so really would like to see Sunni pick this one up. And the more. And there's still plenty of time left, though. That's, yeah, that's a, that's a solid start to it, too. That's Void on the other side. Way too high for me to get a hold on, but Zebulon, not the case for him. He's a solid bit towards the middle, and he at least centers this one up. Jay Leroy on the other side, easily going to be able to pick this one up and try and take it out. Um, Zebulon can have something to say about this one. Sass on the back, unfortunately missed. Been a couple of situations that from Sunni so far. Yeah, issues, you got to make the contact in your own end. That figure hits a huge problem. Jay Leroy nearly ended up with a hat trick. That one bounced off of his own crossbar as well as Sunni P trying to get this ball out of their own end. Rots trying to make things problematic. That's going to bounce in front. Chance there for Jay Leroy, but he's a little late to the party. Back to midfield it goes as it'll be a chance again for Plattsburgh to clear their lines as Zemulon gets it back to midfield, but no further than that before a challenge comes in. It's a solid little pass to pass to at least shot attempt here. Missouri bringing it out. Some live showing from Sunni Plattsburgh squad, the squad out of New York. Draws to the top. Huge booming clear, but nobody really to answer on either side. Zero now getting aggressive and challenging there towards the front. Two members back. B gets to it. Zipcon gets demolished, and right now the defense at a disadvantage on the numbers. Another demo here is Assassin. Everyone taken out this time. Now full three, all back to it. B running down the sideline. This Assassin tries to meet him there, but not going to happen so easily. Members of the Senior Potomac just left, right, and center, either demolishing or taking demolishes. They, are, they have looked better defensively these last couple of minutes, so talking about uh, uh, Blackford, you want to see more of that from them, because ultimately they were uh, run rough shot on the first couple of minutes, as uh, as West Virginia could do whatever they wanted. This is a chance in front, and Rots goes coast to coast to make it a 5 nothing lead, just to assert his dominance again. Yeah, pitch to pitch, coast to coast, across map, however you want to call it, Rots is getting it done. The West Virginia University squad firing in all cylinders right here as Rots takes it to the top and comes out in flying colors, making that last 5-0 lead right now. Uh, I hope that that is not exposed to an element of this squad, because, it, yeah, there's another one right here. This takes it a little bit aerially. Hat trick now for Rods. This is three attempts in, three shots in. Uh, I hope that Sunni Plattsburgh is not going to continue to get exposed up in the air. Well, communication seems to be part of that, and uh, also just straight rotation, not being able to read where the ball is going. Seems to be one of the issues for uh, SUNY on uh, Plattsburgh at the moment. We'll see if that if it changes. But as of right now, that's what we are looking at. Up the sidewall. They're going to try to get something going here. 39 seconds to go as game one comes to a bit of a conclusion, albeit predictable at this point. Jay Leroy bounces it towards the ceiling. He's going to try to read it, end up towards the ball. Into the corner he goes. Rots is there. Jay Leroy will rotate out, top of the box, another chance, not going to happen. As we be back to midfield, but a chance for Plattsburgh. That's Zebulon towards the net, he scores, and they do get one on the board with 14 ticks to go. Hey, good up, Zebulon. Pulling up here, score, showing out for the squad, not going to be a goose egg put in from Sunni Plattsburgh early on. We'd love to see this, we never want to see a game number one that's just a total sweep one way or the other. Exactly. You gotta be, you try to make it competitive, as competitive as possible every single time. That's a caster's dream. As we come down to the last nine seconds, Rots into the middle. Jay Leroy in his area. Top of the box, Zebulon is there, and that is going to secure things in game number one for West Virginia at Potomac State College. 
This one will hit the ground eventually right on near the goal line, and that'll do it for game one. Yeah, taking it on over to the uh, to the stats on this one. Obviously, we're going to be looking at a few things that are more sided for the Western Univer Western Virginia University squad. What is that? Uh, that's me. 15 shots on goal here for Western Virginia University. Only three coming out from SUNY Plattsburgh, Curtis. Yeah, the scoring chances were plenty in the form of uh, of, of aerial attempts. They were there were some ceiling attempts in there as well. But uh, the big thing that caused those attempts was the defensive miscues on the side of Plattsburgh. They really need to work on getting the balls out of their own corners. They're having problems with the corner bounces as it gets into the front of the net and just creates really big openings, double and triple commits at times, creating communication issues and uh, and really. The frustration will start to mount if they can't get a system in place to make sure that they know who's going for what when. Uh, and I hear you. Know, communication always going to be crucial here in the great game of Rocket League as well as in life and most of the <laughs> most, uh, most of the most important relationships of this world, right, Curtis? Yeah, right. Exactly. Communication yeah, is key. Communication, communication, communication. There we go. Three seconds left. We'll see if SUNY is able to come forth here and if Plattsburgh starts simply talking to each other, communi communicating with one another, because if they do, they're, I mean, and they were just uh, honestly very clear mistakes that happened in game number one. They came off the back of, un of either unclear or not enough communications. If they kind of clean up those edges right here, yes, the result might be the same with Western Virginia winning, but it will not be at least a one-sided affair as it was in game number one with a six to one scoreline. Let's see where they go. They need a good start. That's going to be what I'm looking for as we uh, get this game underway. Scoreless, five minutes on the clock. We're underway for game number two. A zero is going to have first crack at this. Keeps it on the ground, but it's knocked away by Assassin. Another send by Zebulon. That's going to be high up the back. Chance for Beach. He's going to oh put this God. one back to midfield. He couldn't quite get a nice hammer on it towards the net, and he will give up possession at the midfield line. Yeah, so uh, again, communications. That's not one, that's not two, that's three. The SUNY Plattsburgh players have had opportunities that that relatively open that situation. Not one is able to get there and get it done because they were all probably a little bit concerned about what their teammates are doing. They want to get put into the to see. Yeah, up the, up the side wall they go. As you're going to try to fall on top of it. Rots in the area as well. Back towards the midfield duck. Jay Leroy. Rots is there trying to finish it. Crossbar and down. That's off the post. Oh, there's a chance for Zebulon to take it away, but a zero is one to slam it home. It'll be a 47 seconds goal in game number two. Yeah, so same situation, but not nearly uh, anywhere near the same time, right? This was a Western Virginia University squad that did this uh, much, much sooner in game number one. If there's a light at the tunnel for SUNY, is that this came about 47 seconds. So more opportunities gone for the Plattsburgh guys to be able to get something done as they are going to give up another one fairly quickly, a minute in, and they're already down two. They're having problems clearing their back lines. That's been the main problem. That's been the main problem for them through game two. Yeah, and also it kind of seems like right here that B, Void Assassin, and uh, Zeb with Zebulon over on the left side were trying to get where the ball was going necessarily before it even got there. Not 100% sure. We'll see how that, uh, how, how that kind of goes here in a little bit. Or, or sorry, if they continue to make the same mistake. Sorry, but I got, got sidetracked here. Minute 10 into this one. Jay Leroy up in the front. Rod's trying to take the uh, the assumption of the pass right there. Not going to happen. Hit, big hit right here. Zero force to hit this one out and over in a bad angle there from Boyd Assassin. Yields in a, another cross pitch ball trajectory and the side of Western Virginia on offense. Into the into the end of Plantsville at the moment is where they're at. Zebulon going to get this back towards midfield. But it's immediately taken back in. The rotations are very, very crisp for West Virginia at the moment as they are really able to read what SUNY is able to trying to do to them at any given moment of this game. Rot's there with a nice four check. Going to bounce this one in front. Chance there for Jay Leroy. He's not going to get this one away. Put in far side of zero is going to go corner to corner and get it deep into the SUNY end once more as this one's pinched across wall to wall. We are two minutes 51 left in a 2 nothing game. SUNY's look better defensively, but uh, that bar not particularly high at the moment. Now there's a chance right at the open net. Not going to happen as B is going to put this one in front and Rots will be able to clear it away for West Virginia. More opportunities gone by for SUNY. 
Zebulon has just been a, such a striking factor here, but it's going to be Jay Leroy. If he can get there, nope, no boost. Sucks to see. That's centered out perfectly as well. Another whiff, but it's not going to be for a zero. Fantastic stuff. 3-0 lead now just past half time. Coming off a 6-1 victory in game number one. Western Virginia firing all cylinders. Now we're looking at a decently longer goal right there, like time-wise. We're looking at a minute and five seconds or so. That did not... I don't think there was enough time allotted between any of those goals in game number one. So at least the slow of play is playing towards SUNY's advantage thus far. Now that'll be in front as well. And a demo to boot just to add salt into the wound. Rots puts it in. It's a 4 nothing advantage. And perhaps the situation I'm quoting bit slipping farther and farther away from the grips of the SUNY squad. Looking at a, a yeah, a Plattsburgh squad that simply needs to get over this like a little bit earlier. Uh, when they do chow, they need, to, they need to dedicate a little bit more, and that that will result with them getting more of these scores. Never mind, Zebulon just needs to put up easy scores like that and let members <laughs> of the Western Virginia mess up left, right, and center. That's a good kickoff goal and a great strike into that top right corner. Rod says the only one defensively that has a chance at that ball, but really he has to know exactly where it's going ahead of time. Otherwise, he can't get there. That's perfect placement from Zebulon, and it brings us to a three-goal deficit. But SUNY gets their first strike, and it took them not nearly as long in Game 2 that it did in Game 1, as it's a 4-1 scoreline. Now make it 5 as Jay Leroy cuts the inside edge and gets them a 5-1 advantage. Talking about cutting that inside edge, this is a, a, a very bare angle. He comes at a different angle of this. He hits it a little bit softer, a little bit harder, something like this would not have gone in. As it was, it was about as perfect the left side. That Perfect pitch pass from the left side for the fifth goal right here, and we're looking at a situation now that is a lot more similar to our game one situation. Lots of in the front, trying to get a player to bite on that, and then did get it. Go ahead. I was to say a little bit of a tease there. Still tried for a mind game. Just kind of saying it under my breath, but a good attempt. But uh, nice read by Suni. Yeah, uh, mind games. Wouldn't be surprised if that's something that we see at least practice a little bit more from Western Virginia, especially. I mean, 90 seconds left, up by four, with opportunities to score more from Western Virginia. I'm gonna say that if there's something they do want to practice outside of distinct gameplay. About uh, soon enough <laughs> would be the time to utilize that, and that is just oh my. Talk about this ball control in the, in the middle of the air, man. Yeah, flip reset, absolutely golden. You got two up for it, trying to play defense. You've got Assassin down on the ground, who's your last line on the goal line. Going to be very difficult for him to get up and take that angle away. That's perfectly done. The mechanics are just about flawless. Love to see it as, uh, as West Virginia is starting to really run away with game two, and you can tell they look really comfortable. Then 11 up top. Plenty of time for SUNY to come back and get a couple more scores in and make a statement here. Not going to say they have enough time to get five. That would require a Herculean effort right here in Curtis. Yeah, Herculean indeed, but they do have the ball in the offensive position at the moment. Let's see if they can get something towards that front of the net. Zabulon being a little bit passive to it. That's a pass into the middle that's not read very well. Assassin gets contact, but it's sent away by a zero. Zero. Back to Zabulon. Zabulon's getting the best contact of any of the three players on the West Virginia roster. Up towards the sidewall. Zero. To midfield. 30 ticks to go. In a bit of a lopsided game two. That's a pass. Rot's on the back end of it. Can't get there as Zabulon takes it away. And he'll work in the offensive end trying to get this one towards the front. But West Virginia all over it again. Yeah, just losing control like this, that could have easily been a little bit lower, a little bit more to the right, and they'd be lining up again at a 7-1 scoreline. As it is, we're looking at a mirror image from our game number one at a 6-1 scoreline. No, it is not. Zazuro wants to take one foot road, push this a little bit farther. Now, we might not have the full conclusion of our game number two, but we do have the result, and that is Western Virginia winning by whatever else, because you cannot score five goals in five seconds. Trust me, <laughs> We've all been in that position before. It is 7-1. Likely going to be the way this one will end as it will hit the turf. Rot's going to pass into the middle. And that is going to do it. Game two goes the way of West Virginia at Potomac State College. Good work from them. And they have one win away from a match decision in their favor. 
It went once again, what, 19 shots, or excuse me, 15 shots on goal for Western Virginia, only three from the side of SUNY Plattsburgh. That just goes to show just how much time was spent in offense and with this ball possessed easily from a Western Virginia player. That That's really the deciding factor here, just the more, the more attempts. It's not like SUNY hasn't been showing up on defense. It's just they've been dumping everything to offense once they're down by five or six points that we frequently see Western Virginia come up and just get a longer range uh, uh, play here. There's something that comes from all the way from out the other side of this pitch and they're able to just start racking them up after a certain point because soon he knows just like the rest of us that are lost by one is as bad as lost by 10 it's the same thing yeah. it's still an L so at a certain point you just pour everything on into your offense well going into game three the one saving grace for SUNY at the moment is that they start off with a clean slate the, the game starts even yep. they uh, they have some work to do obviously uh, their communication still is a little bit suspect at the moment but uh, you can see that uh, Potomac State College is really been a well-oiled machine in mechanics and communication they know where each other's going to be at any given time and you can't really say the same about SUNY at the moment this comes with practice this comes with chemistry and uh, at the moment uh, you can clearly see who is more familiar with their teammates than the other Mm. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. I, I'm a, one must assume that these teams have played against each other at some point in the great game of Rocket League and their experience <laughs> there in, but not sure if they played for a full three V three, but so far this is shaken out to be the Western Virginia university dance. Seven one is your scoreline in game number two, six one is your scoreline in game number one. Uh, you said it, there's been some solid defensive plays from Plattsburgh, but really the saving grace here is the fact that they have not put up a goose egg yet. We'll see how that trend continues, if it continues in any way, shape, or form in game number three, the last possible shot of Western Virginia University. So, see what they can do. This will be a chance. Rots was in front. He's not going to get there in the nick of time. Up towards the sidewalk. Good demo there. Up into the air. That is Rots. Rots going to try to carry this all the way. Gets it dropped down. Gets the flip reset, but can't angle it towards the net. And this will be in the SUNY corner. Assassin in the area. That's going to be a pass up top of the box. And get something done at the midfield line. BJ knocks that one in towards the back wall. Takes control. Tries to get it past Rots. Rots with the takeaway, and it's headed back in by Jay Leroy. As we are 45 seconds in, more possession coming in. Oh, and a good one-two pass, oh, and it's in for a zero. Tic-tac-toe, whatever you want to call it. That's a gorgeous goal to put uh, Potomac State College up one. I'm telling you, passes and passes in a point. So zero comes middle, plays with his teammate in the, in the in like kind of the middle. He's like looking to push this up. They just say, nah, I'll, I'll just pass it right back to you. There's no point in trying to push past not one but two defenders. Gets it to the player on the right, and this is basically an open situation after both defenders fight up to the player that was simply a little bit closer to them. Perfect passes again. The points. Let us see it. Three and fifty-seven to go. We're a minute into game three. They're trying to add one more. That one nearly ended up in the back of the net. Good save coming out. Rots with the joint tries to keep it left side, left wing. Rots tries to cut the angle. Good save initially. Zebulon puts it up in the air. Assassins in the area as well. Zebulon's going to knock this one hard back into the Potomac end, right in front. And Zebulon can't finish it in the empty cage as we played a minute and a half. And it's still all West Virginia at this point. Yeah, that was uh, Rods almost uh, one to have that one back for a little bit. He had to use everything boost wise to get there. Finally, he does he pays off in spades. We stay at a one zero scoreline. I mean, this is great for uh, this is great for Plattsburgh, right? At this point yeah. in previous games, they were looking like down what like one four three zero stuff like this. But you know, one zero scoreline with 120 seconds uh, turned out so far is fantastic. Much better than it was for sure. There's a chance for BJ trying to put this down. Zebulon was in the area. He'll try to force the issue. Assassin goes up. Puts it over the midfield line. Bronx. Looking for the carry himself. Assassin gets a nose to it. Gets it back over the midfield line once more. Jay Leroy with the flip. Gets it back into the Plattsburgh end for the moment. Gets moved back across. And we are playing with it at midfield. A zero. Right at BJ. In front. Good demo. Needs a little bit of help. Can't angle it at the net. Left wing side. Chance for Rots. Placement is good, but it's just off the bar. Couldn't quite get it done as we play halftime coming on. Yeah, I would love to know that as well. Amount of shots simply blocked away from the top or side bar coming in. Azuro keeps the dream alive. Now it's 2 0 against the University Class. So, uh, 
or excuse me, SUNY Plattsburgh. SUNY Plattsburgh is the team on the right that has been scored against. I'm sorry, West Virginia University Potomac. Plattsburgh Potomac. And they seem with the, they begin with the same P letter, but uh, then there's really no other uh, other relation to it. So I apologize. 2-0 now, and, and I'll reiterate my statement earlier. Plattsburgh simply uh, being down only by two with, with the same amount of minutes left is not a bad thing. No, not at all. Still two minutes to go, and anything can happen. As we both know, this will be a chance in front. Jayla is going to get credit. BJ had a, a little bit of helping hand with this as he couldn't quite clear his back line, and West Virginia will benefit. On a, what, probably like a six or seven score run right now from the goal that interrupted their progress from last game. Not 100% sure, but they have three minutes left, or excuse me, two minutes left. And that's plenty for us to get it done, but that, they just need to find goals that aren't so, like, whispers in the wind, you know? Just, just, just like, rare situations they're able to take advantage of. They need to set up more offensive plays and just, and just have it be a lot more of a determined play that they've come to score on. This will be a chance in front again. Off the nose and a zero puts another one in. It's a 4 nothing lead with 96 seconds to go. Slowly taking away from that one. Slowly taking towards the trend of games one and two, six and one, seven and one from games one and two, respectively. Lining back up, Boy Assassin, Zebulon, and Beach going to be looking at this one to at least put up one because they want they would at least be absolutely as courteous. They would follow the theme they've also established, and that's not to get shut out in any of these games. Quite likely try to get at least one. If not more than that, Assassin puts it up in the air, has a chance to work with Zebulon in the offensive end. Zebulon trying to cut the angle, he's not going to do it, as Jay Leroy knocks that one aside. Assassin. Yeah, Solid. Yeah, came pretty close right there. Came really very, very close right there. One of the best opportunities that Plattsburgh has had so far. Into the defensive corner. Plattsburgh trying to get it away from their net and give themselves an opportunity. They're having major difficulties doing that for any length of time. This will be in front. Angles there for Rots. Rots can't get it done. BJ with a nice pass up. Assassin there. Off the side. Zebulon loses that challenge. Jay Leroy is going to put this one up in the air. Opportunity right at the mm. far side for a zero. And he cuts the angle. 5 nothing lead. And that will likely seal it. Yeah, Zero's getting four of those as well. Popping off, firing all cylinders, doing everything in a bag of chips is a Zero right here. Doing everything from A to Z, you could say, Curtis. <laughs> I like it. 45 seconds left, an average of nine seconds per score just for the side of Plattsburgh to come back at this. And that would make it even harder right now. Lots rotating. Jane Leroy. Close to that, that's it. Whoa, my goodness. Okay, there we go. As, uh, as the Rocket League gods themselves intended. Yes, West Virginia University might win, but it is not bloodless. 114 mile, uh, 114 kilometer per hour, excuse me, pinch from the other side to yield Sumi Plattsburgh. Sole score in this game three so far. 27 seconds to go, and at least they were able to get themselves on the board. BJ works towards the left wall. Up in the air, over the midfield line, into the offensive corner goes Assassin. Rots and a zero, trying to add one more. Rots off the back, chance there for a zero. A zero towards the net, he scores. One more added on with six seconds to go. 6-1, looking a lot like our game number one. Game two is a 7-1. We'll be ending somewhere near around there, even if somebody does score in the next five seconds or so. Swiss play, though, so that means that... Sort of one and zero, one and one, excuse me, SUNY Plattsburgh squad. Excuse me. SUNY Plattsburgh squad will be coming into next week looking to take another one on this one. And then we'll be looking at a West Virginia Potomac squad, two and zero, running all the way in here, not dropping a map in game number two. Fantastic stuff, Curtis. Uh, there, there's not a whole lot to be said here about your Western Virginia University squad that we did not say during an active broadcast. No, you're exactly right. There was It was a dominant showing their mechanics in the air, really what set apart the Potomac squad from SUNY Plattsburgh. And they've got some work to do, Plattsburgh does, if, they're not, if they don't have the type of skill in the air that other teams in this league have, they're going to need mm. to get creative in ways to be competitive in this series. And it starts with uh, examining what they can do. There was some definite positioning mistakes. Positioning is usually better than mechanics. Um, as far as if you get that down, you're going to be competitive in most environments, including this one. 
I can definitely agree with you on that. You can definitely agree on that. We're going to go to a very short break. We're going to cut, when we come back, we're going to try and get an interview from one of the members of this winning squad. That is Western Virginia, of course. We'll be back with you guys. Don't tune away because Curtis and I here would take it personally. <laughs> hey, watch your head. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Say trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars, is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez. 
I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 Wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What were you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy. And we are back. We are here. We are live. And we are getting into this interview post game between West Virginia University and SUNY Plattsburgh FBI tugboat here. We got Curtis with me, and we got Rots in here today to give us a little bit of his mind after the game. Rots, you with us? Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. So, my man Curtis is going to start you off with a couple questions, then I'll round you out and get you out of here, okay? Yeah, sounds good. So, a couple, a couple of uh, basic uh, information grabbing, I guess. Uh, who are you? Um, what got you into Rocket League, and then what is, uh, what's your major? Going on. Um, I got back into Rocket League about 2016, and then I first bought my PC about two years ago. I really, really got into it. Mm -hmm. Um, there's, I guess there's not a specific thing that got me into it, but I don't know. Okay. I gotta just play for fun. Um, and then my major is computer information systems because I okay. really like computers and stuff, and uh, I like building them, like editing them and stuff like that. So, all that okay. kind of stuff. Very good. Um. And then comfort level. Week one, obviously, first week jitters, most people have them. What was your comfort level last week, and did you notice a considerable improvement with amongst you and your teammates as far as comfortability going into week two? Uh, beginning of season, you know, you're still getting used to your teammates and stuff like that as it's going on. Um, this week, probably definitely more confident coming in and uh, able to pull out the 3-0, which is really good. Yeah. Yeah, you guys showed a lot of really good ability and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys the rest of the way. Um, you guys, especially with the mechanics you guys displayed, you, have, you guys may be a force to be reckoned with down the rest of the Swiss and into the playoffs. So nice job. Congrats on the win, and we look forward to seeing you the rest of the way. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, obviously, we got a little background there for you, Rod. So I want to ask you about the, uh, the eSports Center over there at the University of uh, Potomac. Uh, so, okay, uh, this is our eSports arena. There's about 30-something PCs set up, and we okay. split it between our Rocket League team, our Valorant team, our Call of Duty team, and our Madden team. We all use these PCs set up. There you nice. go. There yeah, you go. it's, very, it's also super like nice. Very, yeah, yeah, very uh, all across the board as well. You said Madden, Rocket League, Valorant, and did I hear Overwatch? No, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, gotcha. Mm. So some first-person shooters, some... 
uh, sports games, so, so the, the, the greatest game, the greatest esport ever in Rocket League here. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, but really just a little bit of something for everyone there over there in uh, West Virginia. So I, I'd love to see, love to see that one. Uh, you yeah. specifically, I think Curtis might have asked, but what is your major good, sir? What, what, what is the, uh, you said it was computer science earlier. Is that still what it is? Yeah, it's uh, it's the correct term for it is computer information systems, but it's basically computer science. It's basically just I can go into coding, like cybersecurity, or I could go into like uh, tech if I wanted to and build computers and stuff like that. It's basically anything with computers. There you go. There you go. Can't imagine that'll um, that'll hurt in your esports experiences and whatnot. But uh, exactly. Yeah, I want to go ahead and just give you a congrats and, and job well done. Two zero run now for your college here and uh we'll be looking forward to seeing you in the future okay as long as you win that, that we only have winners in the interview box you know <laughs> thank you thank you not a problem not a problem yeah now his rods there from the western virginia university potomac squad you got you got his uh got his esports arena there in the background as well that is going to be it three zero sweep here from western virginia i'm fbi tubbot here with my man curtis and i want to go ahead and give a shout out to the people and organizations that you make this possible. First and foremost, that's EMP Live Design. All of your production needs, anything broadcast wise, they are the masters. You can just hit them up and figure out what it actually it is that your needs are. If you have questions or whatnot, just talk to them. That's Colton, that's Tate Tad, and everybody else there. Really appreciate them. Big shout out to HyperX as well as CSMG. But the the big reason why we're here, Legion by Lenovo. Legion or Lenovo Legion knows that you play to win. In order to stand out from that competition, of course, you need the equipment that matches your own speed, and that equipment is, of course, the Legion Y25 monitor. It delivers, the, it delivers wins in the toughest and most critical of situations. It does have that one millisecond response time, as well as 240 uh, the hertz refresh rate, and what, the 24 and a half inch full, full high definition IPS panel. I don't know what an IPS panel is, Curtis. You know what an IPS panel is? It's really, really nice. How's that sound? It's really, really nice. There you <laughs> go. And of course, it does have that built in G Sync as well. So, really, everything that you could want from a gaming monitor, the Y25. Personally, it's got a little arm on it for your headset, you know, and, and me personally, I always like, uh, I'm just bad about dropping headsets, especially when you're in a lobby with somebody, you know, you get your friends on the other side, you drop a headset, it's like, you know, you're like, you're screaming in their ear or something like that. So you got the little arm right there and no, no unnecessary uh, uh, feedback on microphones to your friends. Your friends will thank you is what I'm trying to say if you buy the Y25 monitor from Lenovo Legion. That's going to be it, though. FBI yeah, talk about joined here with Curtis. Again, shout out to Colton and KTAD. We appreciate them and running production and everything else. Curtis, do we have anything else for the good people before we do get them on out of here? And those them, thank you for watching. No, we got uh, more from not only ECAC, but uh, or ECAC Rocket League, but everything going on amongst the uh, ECAC family of games. Uh, Overwatch going on right now. We'll be getting you, we'll be getting you an invite over to them here shortly as their match still going on. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in one week's time next Wednesday for more of week three action in the Rocket League server, the sector. I asked for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids as kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother soon as he out and finished his bid. We finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother, I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it.
accept and ignore Just kicking down all the doors Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it It's gotta be real big I gotta make it just for my kids And for their kids, just kids That's wealth years and years Promise my brother soon as he ought to finish this bid We finna do it bigger than anybody ever did The odds is real big Job that's real big Satan trying a little, my God, is real big Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big I gotta do it big The only way that I can live What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. <laughs> hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. Ain't accepting, ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids, just kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother soon as he ought to finish this bid. We finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. What sound experience would you like today? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. <laughs> 